Yes, sir. Yes, sir. guys we are here at Glencoe High School with the Glencoe Yellow Jackets for our preseason preview uh, this preview is brought to you by Impact Realty and Bobby Donaldson Realtor so uh, we'll let's start out and let these guys introduce themselves starting starting over here uh, Ben Langdell senior uh, receiver and strong safety uh, Tyler Westcott senior center and DM Noah Fairley senior quarterback and linebacker Christian Prater senior Fullback and linebacker. Joshua Kennedy, senior, right tackle. All right, guys. Um, you guys have have a new head coach, uh, Coach Scott, Coach Scott Martin. Uh, tell us how your workouts have been since Coach Martin has been here. Uh, they've been good. We've been really getting pushed in the weight room and outside running, getting in shape. Okay. Uh, they're pretty good. He's holding us to higher expectations than we've been held before since we've been here. I definitely say the condition and stuff is pretty hard. Yeah. I feel like we, we've uh, gotten a lot stronger since he's came in. Okay. Condition's been a lot different than it has been in the past, and I definitely feel like we're all improving as a team. Well, the condition's been good. I feel like we're all getting in shape more, getting stronger in the weight room. Good deal. Um, you know, you guys have had some uh, some pretty tough years over the years. Uh, a lot of head coaching changes. Um, all you guys are seniors, correct? Yes, all right. As seniors, what do you feel like you, you have to do to to get the tables turned here at Glencoe and go out your senior year on a on a on a positive note? Uh, just like set an example in the league and show like the younger kids everything to do, not like goof off. You just gotta lead them. Speaking on what he said, show the younger guys that's coming in, right from wrong, how to lead and how to lead by example. Like they said, lead by example. <laughs> well, we've been through a lot in our four years, and mm -hmm. it's important to show everyone, people of Glencoe, and younger guys on our team that, I mean, as much as we've been through, we still haven't quit yet, and mm -hmm. we're pushing through. Good deal. Yeah, what, what they all said, we to bring more leadership the younger what to do. I know one thing uh, about Glencoe, I've, I've lived out here in this area for you know 10 plus years now and one thing I can say about Glencoe, there's, there's a lot of um, a lot of support from the community. Um, how important is that to you guys knowing that 
even though you've gone through some tough seasons and had some tough times, you still have a whole community standing behind you. How does that? How does that? You know, make you guys feel Mason, being seniors. Makes us feel good. It's like makes us feel like we got people behind us, not like doing it just like just to be doing it. And like having a full crowd out there whenever we play, it really just like boosts like your ego and makes you feel like better, even though we've not had great years. It's, okay. it's just more the fact that they can still hold on to something, even though we've had, gave them every reason not to. A man of many words. <laughs> yeah, they they stuck with us just as much as we've stuck through everything that we've had to deal with the last few years. And so, I mean, I have a lot of respect for them sticking with us and coming out. It's good knowing that there's a whole community out there supporting us the whole way. Good deal. Um, you know, tradition is also a big thing out here in Glencoe. Um, putting that putting that Glencoe jersey on, do you guys, how does, do you guys feel like you're you're holding up that Glencoe tradition and how, how does that, you know, make you guys feel knowing that, you know, you're putting on that Glencoe jersey on Friday nights and going out there and representing your community? Just like putting it on, and like most of our coaches, like Coach Wange, Coach Talbot, they all mm -hmm. played here before. Yeah. Just like trying to live on and like live up to their expectations and play good and trying like, trying to fill their shoes. Uh, Coach Tricky, he was one of the guys that played here a long time ago. I think with Coach Williams, just uh, stepping those guys' shoes for a day is something special. It definitely is. Like they said, I mean, it's just, I mean, I don't really know. It's just, there's a lot of good players that play here. The coach is here now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they know what it's like to play here, and it's just he's excited putting the jersey on, and going out there and playing on Friday nights. Yeah. Like they said, with our coaches that have played before, they've been a part of some good teams. Mm -hmm. And there have been several great teams through here in the past few years. And just to be able to go out and represent them and try to play for our coaches and the people that used to be here. What they all said, it feels good to put on that jersey and carry on the tradition. Good deal. Good deal. All right, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, this is our preseason preview. Good luck to you guys this season. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys in the fall. Thank you. Thank you. All, right. All right, guys. We are here with new Glencoe head coach Scott Martin. Uh, we spoke with Coach Martin a few weeks ago when he was first hired at Glencoe. We're here doing a follow-up just to see how things are going so far. Coach Martin, you've been here a few weeks now. Tell us how, how everything's going. Well, I mean, it, it's going great. I mean, we've had, you know, we're into our third week of off-season, which is our strength and conditioning program. Uh, introducing some things to these guys that, that maybe they haven't done before. Uh, everybody does strength and conditioning, so everybody does lifting and running. We, we understand how that is. Yeah. But so much of it is, is is to introduce some things that maybe they're not doing, put them in positions that I think are uncomfortable, mm -hmm. things that you know are going to help them mentally and, and be able to deal with adversity a little bit better. Okay. Uh, also, it, it tells me a lot about our football players. I'll be able to look at those guys and, and watch them and how they react out on that field during the summer, mm -hmm. you know, of what type of football players and, and what type of guys are going to be able to deal with certain things that they get put into. You know, are these guys going to be strong enough mentally to be able to overcome adversity? Because every team faces it. And yeah. so um, I can't say enough, you know, good things about that. We've got – nine seniors that are that are doing a great job and they work extremely hard and they're, they're putting it on the line every day uh, the attendance has been great I mean our uh, we've actually upped the number of people that have been out here playing but but I would expect that to happen right. whenever there's transition and, and mm -hmm. change yeah. there's always people that are going to sit back and wait and see how that transition right. and change goes and right. so um, while you know you have defectors that leave, which is you know their choice, and, and we wish them the best, you know we have those guys that come out that maybe weren't playing or guys that weren't sure if they were going to play, mm -hmm. and you know we're going to have a football team you know August the 26th when we go to Weaver. So uh, we're it's it's really been uh, exciting because there's so much positivity going around. Good deal. Um, one last thing before we wrap this up. Um, how's the community support been since you've been here so far? Outstanding, uh, tremendous, and it did, I didn't expect anything less. I've always <laughs> looked at Glencoe from afar, from right. standing outside the gates, and uh, you don't ever know how things internally are running. Right. But I've always been impressed with the type of support that they have, mm -hmm. uh, the type of community involvement that they have. 
um, you know, everybody rallying around their sports teams. Mm -hmm. And after getting in here and being a part of it just yeah. for the basically month that I've been here, uh, it's everything I thought it would be and more. So I'm extremely excited about it. Good deal. Um, one last, I mean, is there anything you want to say before we wrap well, it up? Well, it, it's, you know, I just appreciate <laughs> these parents trusted me with their most valuable commodity, which is their children. Right. But, um, you know, we're looking for, we're, we're changing the motion of Glencoe football. I mean, uh, not that anybody before us did anything wrong. It's just, you know, some, you got to find which way the puzzle pieces fit together. And I, and I think I have, with getting ready to be my 30th year as a head coach, mm -hmm. I feel like I have a good feel for that. And, uh, you know, people ask, well, what do you think you're going to do, wins, losses, and stuff like that? I can't answer that question. Right. I mean, there's so many things that are involved with wins or losses. I mean, uh, injuries are involved with wins or losses. You know, mm -hmm. key positions, somebody getting hurt, somebody right. being sick, somebody being out. Some, there's so many different things that are involved with wins and losses. But if you ask me, you know, what about the makeup of our football team? Well, right now it's a win. Uh, I like everything about them, and these yeah. guys are no questions asked. They're doing exactly what they're asked to do and more, mm -hmm. and they're pushing themselves to limits that a lot of them haven't pushed themselves before, and I think that's going to be positive in the end. That's, that's awesome. Well, Coach Martin, I appreciate you sitting in with us uh, for our preseason video, and thank you to Bobby Dunnington at Impact Realty for our support of the Glencoe Yellow Jackets. Thank you.